it's time to replace my cable modem. And I'm tired of paying the cable company $5 a month for rental on a, and a cable modem. And by the way, that just happens to be going on the fridge. So it's time to replace one. Now I've done my homework and this is the model that I chose. It is the Motorola Surfboard Extreme 6120, uh, 6121 cable modem. This is a DOCSIS 3 modem capable of a throughput of up to 160 megabits per second. I don't get anywhere near that uh, right now through Mediacom, but it's capable of it. And, and we don't have DOCSIS 3 available yet where I live, but uh, someday it will be. So there's a little bit of uh, future proofing there. It's got a gigabit uh, Ethernet connection on it. It's not a router. It's strictly a cable modem, but it comes very highly rated. It's available on Amazon.com for under 80 bucks. And I'm really pleased with it. So what I thought we would do is we would unbox it, uh, take a quick speed test check uh, with my current cable modem, and then we'll connect this and we'll do another speed test check as well. So let's go ahead and just open up the box and see what is included. And we'll go ahead and start the top here. And it looks like we then open it this way, lengthwise. And then here we go. This is what's included with the cable modem right here. And we'll take out the actual modem. It's actually uh, pretty light. I'll set the box off to the side here. And it is wrapped up here. Important safety instructions. That's always, that's always important right there. So we'll go ahead and open that. And right there is the front of the unit. And there is some, looks like some sticky tape. Go ahead and peel that off. It doesn't want to come off. Okay, well, we'll get that into the moment. Here's what's important though, right on the back side, you see how it's color coded? You have a blue, uh, looks like, or purple. Then you have blue and then green. This is supposed to be for an easy setup, three step. Connect uh, the, the purple, connect the blue, connect the uh, green. On the front, you'll have, I believe, five LEDs right on top of here to indicate your power connection, upload, down link uh, uh, on this modem. So I'm really excited about getting it going. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to stop this video. And then we're going to come back after the device is hooked up and uh, show you that. Oh, let's take a look at what's in the rest of the box, however. Go ahead and open that up. And we have... Oh, my favorite, my favorite thing in the world, a wall wart. And it looks like we get a Ethernet cable with it and a book of instructions. Oh, by the way, here's something important. I won't really show you all these numbers on here. This is important to have because in my case, I'll have to uh, have this provisioned by Mediacom, my internet service provider. They'll have to provision this modem, so they're going to need some numbers that's on the bottom of the box. Okay, uh, what they're going to need is your customer serial number, which is different than the unit serial number. And they're also going to need the MAC address of the modem so they can provision this unit. Uh, this uh, model is not 100% supported right now by Mediacom. In other words, they don't have a, 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 a firmware update for it. But according to the forums and from uh, Mediacom spokesmen themselves, this unit will work just fine. And a lot of people use it with Comcast as well. So it works apparently with Xfinity and so on. So I think that we shouldn't run into any problems with this cable modem. We're going to find out in just a minute. I'm going to save myself five bucks a month. This thing will pay for itself in a little over a year. And I'm future proofed. And uh, I just think the cable modem we have currently is going a little bit wonky. It's going to save me money. I'm not so much interested. Some people are saying they're getting faster speeds by using these new uh, cable modems. Um, I'm not so much interested in that as I am a stable and reliable connection and make sure that I'm not going to lose in either my upstream or downstream. So we'll be right back right after this. Okay, so what we're going to do now, this is using my current modem provided to me by Mediacom. It's an older Cisco modem. I know that it's at least three years old, and it was probably used before I got this one. So let's just run a real quick speed test, and we'll click Begin Test, and here we go. 
move the cursor out of the way. And we're 20.67 megabits down. And it looks like we're going to be just over 2 megs up. Looks like it's dropping a little bit. You know, this is one of the issues of cable modems, obviously, is inconsistent uh, upstreams. There we go. We're seeing some, uh, we're seeing some really weird stuff there. There we go. So 20.67 megabits per second down, 2.35 up. We're now going, getting ready to disconnect the old modem, and then we're going to uh, hook up the new one, and then we'll do another speed test. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so the new modem is back online, and it's been provisioned. We're all set to go. What we're looking for is at least getting the same speeds that we got with the old modem. That's what's important to me right now. So we're going to click Begin Test, and let's see how we do. Very good. Downstream is looking really good. 22.59 megabits per second down. Let's see how we do on the upstream. Because what's important to me is stability. It looks like the upstream is a lot more stable. It's definitely looking pretty good. So right around about uh, 2.6 megabits down. Still testing. Let's see how much longer this goes. Still going. Normally a speed test on the uh, upstream doesn't take this long. So I'm not sure what the issue is there, but as you can see it's about 2.6 megabits down, so we're experiencing a a nice, uh, no, no performance hit, and that's what was important to me. This is the Motorola Surfboard Extreme, the SB6121 DOCSIS 3 modem. Like I said, about 80 bucks on Amazon. Uh, I think it's going to be a sound investment. Highly recommend it. If you are renting a cable modem, go out and buy one. They're better quality than what these guys put in your home. Bruce Daly, your frugal tech, and we will talk to you later. Take care, everybody.